Okay, that was a good game. No winners in this game, we're all winners. No losers, we're all winners. Okay, so, good. Yeah, so let me make this table of the different trig substitutions uh, and how they can be useful. Summary. trig substitutions. So over here we have, if you see, so if your integrand, integrand contains, make the substitution Um, to get. So if your integrand contains, um, I'll write these things out as square roots. If it contains the in square root of a squared minus x squared, this is what we talked about on Thursday when I was trying to find the area of that piece of a circle. There, I suggested that we should make the substitution x is a times the cosine of theta, or x is a times the sine of theta. Either one um, works just as well, and there's no way to prefer one over the other. And when you make the substitution, x is equal to a times the cosine of theta, you get a squared minus a squared cosine theta, squared theta. One minus cosine squared is the sine squared, and so you get a sine of theta. So I've, so this, this expression becomes equal to this expression under that identif under that substitution. And then you go on, then you've gotten rid of the square root and you've got a trigonometric integral that you have to try to do. If you made the substitution a sine theta, you'd get a squared minus a, sin a, a squared sine squared, which is a times cosine theta. And then you can go ahead as well. We just saw another example, namely if you have a squared plus x squared, that's like the example we had up here. A is equal to one in this example. What did we do? We set, we tried the substitution x is a tangent of theta, and the reason is that I can plug into the trig identity up here in the upper left and replace a squared plus x squared by a times the secant of theta the square root of the squ secant squared. There's one more thing in this table, sort of the only remaining uh, sum or difference of terms like this, and that's what happens if you have x squared minus a squared. So there, I think we can make a substitution a times the secant of theta. Because after all, secant squared of theta so x squared minus a squared, sorry, let's see what happens when I make that substitution. x squared minus a squared is uh, a squared secant squared theta minus a squared under this substitution. That's secant squared minus one. Well, put the one on the other side and you find tangent squared coming out. So this is a squared times the tangent squared of theta. And so that's what you get, a times the tangent of theta. After I take the square root, I get a times the tangent of theta. So these are the basic, the three basic trig substitution forms where trig substitutions are useful and to get rid of expressions like this and replace them by trigonometric ex expressions.